Hello guys, Goron Gaming here, and I'm back with Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. And I feel like my recordings are actually HD now, if you notice it in the quality of my videos. So that'd be pretty cool. I hope it is. I, I feel like it is. I feel like the quality has improved on what I've done. So, in a way, it would seem that Ganon... Oh, come on, really, you gotta crash now. It would seem that Ganon send those monsters to this place. That don't mean there's no time to lose. We must depart once for the place next to the south. Okay. The only problem is I don't want to go to the south. Because let's just set the wind to the right direction. Um look, um we have four hundred twenty-nine rupees. The maximum is five hundred. So, I want to spend our rupees for a little bit, and why can't we... Oh, he wants us to... Ah. No. No. There we go. Um, he wants us to go to the south, so we just have to tell him... South. There we go. Let's go. Happy now? Yeah, okay, he's happy. I'm not. Uh, uh, why do I keep doing that song? Um. So um, we have a lot of money, and I don't want to read. Don't don't press B. Ah, uh, use of Assassin's Creed now. <laughs> I'm used of pressing B to increase speed on sailing. But here you put away your sail. Huh? Oh, right there, small fry. What? That's a fish. Hi there. I don't know what you can even see, Josh, up there, but it looks like pretty much nothing but sea is drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart, I guess. Well, if it's a chart that has sea written on it, then I think it would be a sea chart, but okay, if you say so. What's the matter, small friend? I'm just trying to be nice. I'm telling you that you have got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look all the beaten diapers. What? Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy, okay? Wait, diapers? The only people who have diapers here are the fairies, mister. That's a big island. Dragon Roost Island. There's a bush. Yeah. yeah, I know these things already. And you can always reread them. Like in the old in the old version you had to like give them bait and they will tell it again. But Yeah he's yeah I don't care. Uh, in the old version they had you had to throw bait into the water and they tell what he just said again. But now you can just tab it on the gamepad and he says it again. So that's useful. That's useful stuff. But we are heading back to Windfall Island, because that's where the shops are at. So, we can already... Oh, what did I just do? What the hell is going on? I don't even know. Alright. Uh, oh, that's what happened. I pressed the R button to open my spyglass. I don't... Yeah, Assassin's Creed controls. You know... Old habits don't die, or something. Hey, it's a beetle shop ship. How are you doing that, beetle? Cool. And there's an island over there, but we can't really do anything there. If I recall. And... Windfall is still a little bit further. We're halfway there, I think. It takes about... Five, six minutes or something to go over the entire map with the normal sail but that's one of the reasons I'm heading for windfall because I want to buy the super sail the um, what's it called again the fast sail? I, I don't know what it's called oh the time froze that's cool because we have the nice sunset looking pretty cool that's looking pretty cool Okay, but we're heading for Windfall, as I just said. 
Uh, here we are. There's tingle bottles in the water and uh, stuff like that. I'm gonna read them. Let's see what they say. Alright. They're both idiots who drew random things. That's kind of weird. Uh, I'm looking at the gamepad while walking around. That's not smart. Alright, we need it to be night. So let's actually go up here. Because this guy is doing some random dancing. Hi there. Yeah, magical rhythm. Okay. Um. No. Tun tun tun. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. I can feel it. I think you're mad. What's that thing on your nose? What? Um. Oh wait, no, it's like this. There we go. You learned the song of passing. Now bring on the night. You're crazy. What's the matter? Nothing happened. Maybe because you suck. Alright, so let's actually do that. So, conduct the song, and it should turn night. There we go. Nice night. So, I'm going to the auction house. I'll see you guys in a bit once I found it. Because I'm lost. I'm bad at directions. Oh wait, I know where it is. I know where it is. Go down. It's down this road. Should be... Yeah, it's right over here. Right. What better place to spend all your money than the auction house? And here we can also get a swift sale, that's what it's called. Aha. Well good evening. Yes, yes, I ran out the first floor mansion. Uh, yeah. The auction, yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. I'm fine with that. Sure. So, basically the auction... Um, you gotta do things. <laughs> um, people are bidding money on items and you have to overbid them. And the way to overbid them is to bid 10%... Or was it 20? I think it was 20% higher than the current bid. So, that's what we're going to do. Oh dear me, I'm so sad. This. A piece of heart. The first time I did this, I immediately got the swift seal, so I was really happy. But anyway. Let the auction begin. Open for 80 rupees. So now that the bidding is kind of low, I'm going to try out if it was 10% or 20%, because that's useful information. Yeah, 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 people are bidding. So we quickly... There we go. Alright, if we add 9 rupees... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... No, 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 what the... What the... I don't know what just happened. Um, Alright, this is added 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If this stuns them... Should work. Oh, right, 10% it is. So you need to add 10% to a current bid in order to make them be like, What the hell? And then you can just charge up for your next bid, and like this you can win the, the auction. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly bid myself. See, we have 36 seconds left, so um, I'm going to just randomly bid this 
time's now continuing and in like 30 seconds I should uh, be able to oh, they're bidding like crazy in about 30 seconds I'm just going to bid and we should be good hi 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 don't just take all my stuff time's running out yes I see 15 seconds left pretty much so I'm just getting ready no no not now come on no stop it 23 seconds left what Arr, my timer is not good all right I'm adding we need to add 13 rupees I think this should stun them then yes all right 23 seconds left So that means like when it hits K okay. Ah <laughs> Link's face is like Hurr. stupid <laughs> Seven seconds, damn it, that's not good enough. Okay, I'll add we have to add how much? Fifteen. So that's one, two, three. Four, five, fifteen, and I'm just going to do that twice. So now we're going to add sixteen. Yes, five seconds remain. Quickly, 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 and sold. Oh, nice! We didn't even have to spend sixty more rupees. That's good. So we have a piece of heart <laughs> excitement in the auction house. So I'm just gonna do this um, until I'm out of money, basically. Peace of heart. And by the way, um, if you were wondering, um, if someone else buys the item and you come back the next night, the same item will be given back to the to the uh, Eskimo dude, and he wants to sell it again. So man, that guy's getting rich by this, really. Makes no sense actually, but anyway, we are going to make a day and night again, and then I'm going back. So I'm just gonna speed up that process until we buy the next item. So I'll see you guys in a bit once that's done. Uh, let's see. Right, so I just bought a treasure chart. Um, not really the best thing to be buying, but it is. Uh, it could uh, contain 200 rupees or more when once we get the treasure out of it. So that's a good thing. Um, you have to buy everything at the auction in order to get everything out of the auction. So I think the order you get things uh, sold is random. So it could be that next evening we get the swift sale but it also could be at like the complete end so we have to buy everything in order to have our swift sale but that'd be worth it because the swift sale is definitely making this game a lot more um a lot more well tolerable i don't know um anyway i'm just gonna do it again because we still have like 200 rupees yeah so um see you guys in the next uh by next time I bought something, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> joy pendant. 
Oh, we gotta buy it. <laughs> you gotta buy what you gotta buy, so... 40 rupees for fucking joy pendant. That's horse crap, man. That's horse crap. Uh... Why is a big fat a hassle like he buying a fucking joy pendant? Ah, uh, well, see you guys once I bought this piece of crap. Really, why does a joy pendant cost so much more than a freaking treasure chart? That's definitely horse crap. I have to admit, that's just... That it doesn't make any sense. Oh well. Uh, how much money do we have? We got... 81. That's not gonna work out for another auction. Unless we get a treasure chart. We can always try, but... I'm just going... To probably go what the storyline wants us to go to. Hey, no. Completely. Yes, 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 I know. You want a picture of something perfectly round and pill. And I know what you want, but I ain't giving it yet. Alright. Let's see. Um. I don't think there's anything we can really do out here still. Uh, there's probably some side quests, but not really something I can be a big help of. Oh, what do we got? For the gallery if you need it. What? Oh wow, that's pretty cool, I'm keeping that. That's a cool picture. I can probably use that. But anyway... I am going to our boat. Yep. Alright. Um set sail. Uh we need to go in this direction. So let's actually set the wind. Of course we could go vertically directly to where we have to go but the game doesn't let you because the game doesn't want you to go to the islands in between and so the game actually forces you to do these dungeons so they aren't letting you go like um, out of the spaces of islands you have to go in order to reach your locations if that makes sense. I don't think it does. Let's see, actually, let's open the treasure chart we found so far. Oh, that's a single chart. Don't want that. You guys can see this on your map, I know. <laughs> but I don't care. Um, You know what, actually? We are going to Dragon Roost. And once we're at Dragon Roost, we are going inside the Dragon Roost Cavern dungeon we've been. Because we actually missed out on one tiny little thing, and somebody sent me a picture of, well not really a picture, but just a drawing of a spider. It doesn't really make sense, because there's like no spiders in this game, as far as I know. But if he likes drawing spiders and showing them in the ocean, he can fight with me. Oh, money, money, money. Can almost go to the auction again if we keep finding money like this. But that's not a bad thing. Hello. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Don't poop on my head, please. Oh, well, they're not above us. Alright, so we're at Dragon Roost almost. Jeez, this is taking forever. Should probably speed up some of the sailing in the future.
Right, go and set sail. Get out. Good. And get on land. Hey, is it just me or is there still a chest? Oh, well, it's opened up, I suppose. It's an open chest. Oh, that's a lot of money. And a bottle. And he mistyped schooner. Oh, wait, why am I taking the detour? Shouldn't just ignore detours. Should just head straight to where we want to go. You know what? I'll show you guys in the dungeon actually. Where we will do what we must. Alright, I think this room should bring us to the point where I saw a place where we couldn't go. So, that's it. I knew you were there. Ouch. Uh, oh, they're everywhere! No! Oh, no, ah, damn it, I suck! Why do I suck so much today? It's not a good thing. One does not simply suck. Okay, anyway, let's go. Rope swing. Wouldn't it be cool if you could rope swing like that, just like. Whenever you want. Like, I think like in other games it would be cool as well. Like, uh, in Assassin's Creed you have to rope swing from your boat to another boat, but not not really at any other points. I think. Anyway, we find a treasure chart. So I think like with uh, chair, shut up. I think by finding this treasure chart, this dungeon is complete. Let's uh, quickly check on my map. Yep, it's all emptied out. So let's do the cool rope swing thing again. I think it'd be pretty cool if we could just... Go! Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> I think it would be pretty cool if you could just do that. Like in Minecraft or something. It would be really awesome if you could just... Like rope swing or... Hook shot. Or like... Oh no, don't jump, Link! <laughs> That's not very clever. That's not very clever of you, Link. Stupid. But like, um... Free run. The dude! <laughs> oh, I suck at parkour. That's the proof right there. I suck at parkour in Zelda. I might not sound pretty good. I think I'm not amazing, but pretty good. Maybe I should do a parkour map sometime. Alright, if you could do something like this in Minecraft, that'd be pretty cool as well. No, don't let go! <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so stupid of me. I will see you guys in the next episode. And in that episode we will actually head to the south. What uh, the game wants us to go. Might be a good idea to do what the game wants. For once. But before we go, I want to play with this bridge. Whoa, they're like rocks falling from the scene. I know them. Did I ever notice that? No, Link, don't miss the jump! <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, I've been Goron Gaming, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Link Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. I'm going to jump in this time. That was not an accident.